Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this episode I thought I'd make a nice little basic step stool. So um, I've got some uh, off cuts of wood, some short pieces of wood um, which were left over from my workshop build. I've got a little video on that if you want to see that it's in my uh, video list. And um, I thought what can I do with these short pieces? So I thought for a stool it's made up of quite small pieces. So I thought that would be ideal. So now what I'm doing is I'm just putting out, laying out the pieces. Uh, I'm going to make the top first. So as you can see, I'm just drilling out some uh, drill holes to make a sort of box frame. And uh, there I'm using uh, that is three by two uh, CLS timber. Some of it's painted green because some of it was left over from the, my fence that I built my pallet wood fence. So now I'm just going to add some glue to the ends. And I've got my pilot holes all ready. And I'm going to just make sure it's nice and square and drive in some screws. And uh, I had some leftover decking screws from my workshop build. And I thought they'd be good, nice and big, strong to uh, make that top frame really sturdy because that is going to be sort of the main frame where everything's going to be attached to and I'm using two screws for each corner So that's one side complete, and I'm just going to repeat, going to repeat the process for the other side. Plenty of glue on there. And I took my time with this part just to make sure everything was nice and square because um, this part really does need to be square because everything's going to be attached to it. And there you can see the uh, the top frame finished. So now I wanted to work out a rough kind of size for the legs. And I think I settled on 8 or 9 inches, I'm not sure. But as you can see I'm just marking up the length with the, uh, the set square and just cutting the legs down on the mitre saw. Great project if you've got lots of short pieces of wood left over from something because there's not a lot you can do with short pieces of wood. So there's the four legs and now I'm just arranging them and I'm just marking out so that I know where to, dr uh, to drill the pilot holes. And now I'm just going to drill some pilot holes.
and as you can see there I'm drilling another four pilot holes on the frame which will secure the legs on from one side so there'll be two screws from one angle and one from the other so now I'm just adding on some plenty of wood glue just to prevent any movement later on so there's the first two screws going in and there's the, uh, the third screw going in from the other side and that just locks it all in place now I'm just going to repeat the process for the other three legs. So uh, I didn't make uh, a design for this project. At the beginning, I just sort of made it up as I went along. And that usually works. So there you can see the four legs on. I did add, if you see those uh, black pieces of wood, some extra supports at the top and then two at the bottom, as you can see there, just to give it extra rigidity. So the next thing to do was to put the top on and for the top I'm going to use uh, three pieces pallet wood. Again this is some leftover pallet wood from a project. I only had a couple of lengths so I thought I might as well use it for something like this and quite a bit of that wood wasn't very good so I just cut off the best parts. So now I'm just uh, adding plenty of glue along the whole top. to make sure there's a really solid bond and the, the main aim when you're building a stool uh, for me was just to make sure that there's no movement whatsoever so I've got some ring nails there that I'm going to use to attach these boards so you can imagine when everything is glued and screwed together at the end and it's all sort of interlocking there's just not going to be any movement at all and when you're standing on something it, it can't move you, you don't want to be coming off it so these are ring nails, there's no way they're going to come out. And there's the final piece going in. And at this point I was quite pleased with how it looked. And uh, so what happened is, at this point, uh, I stepped on the stool to check it out, and I found that it kind of rocked from side to side if I wasn't careful. So I decided to add these extra sort of supports on the sides, which stops the stool going back and forth. Um, and then I cut an angle just to give it a bit of a design to make it look a bit nicer. And I'm quite pleased with how it looked in the end. So now I'm just giving it a sand with some really coarse uh, sandpaper. Just making sure it's all nice and smooth, ready for staining. And the bits that I couldn't get with the, uh, the random sander, I'm just using some sandpaper, just doing it by hand. And uh, I decided to fill in all the little screw gaps, uh, the screw holes, just to make it look a little bit neater. Uh, for that I'm just using some frame sealant because I didn't have any uh, wood filler which is fine and now I'm just sanding off that, that sealant to make it smooth and as you can see it's all nice and smooth now it's had a really good sanding and finally I'm just going to give it a coat of some water based stain um, I used water based stain just because I was doing it indoors and I didn't want to use something that's had a bad smell to it so now you can see it's all done
there is the stall finished with its coat of stain on. Really heavy, really solid and chunky. And here's just a little demo of me standing on it. So if you like this video, please make sure to like and also consider subscribing. And uh, if you found this useful, uh, please leave a comment below and I'll see you next time.